As early as August 2020, Wynwood has detected instances of global navigation satellite system GNSS manipulation intended to overcome the industry's new regulations and compliance advisories. Bad actors looking to conceal their illicit activities have attained technologies previously only available to states that enable them to electronically manipulate their transmitted GPS location. Deceptive shipping practices like GNSS manipulation can create an illusion of knowledge. Without the right data, insights and supporting technology, stakeholders can be left in the dark. What does this look like in practice? Let's take the fascinating case of a 183 meter oil products tanker as an example. Under its previous name, this tanker used to operate mainly in the Gulf of Mexico as well as other regions of the world, but never in the GCC area. During May-June 2020, the vessel changed ownership as well as its transmitted name. Under its new identity, the vessel began operating a shipping line between the GCC and China. Since operating under its new ownership, the Windward platform has identified four unique GNSS manipulation events in the GCC a behaviour firmly connected with sanctions evasions and the trade of illicit cargo. To get a better understanding of this deceptive shipping practice, let's deep dive into the February 2021 GNSS manipulation event. On February the 7th, we were able to locate the vessel at the Fujera port waiting area prior to its journey north. Prominent features include length, 180 metres, white bridge, red deck, white pole at the bow. On February the 11th, the vessel departed Fujairah in the UAE, transmitting an empty draft and Basra, Iraq as its destination. Following its departure, the tanker sailed towards Iraq and was spotted on February the 14th, slowing down just 20 nautical miles away from the Basra oil terminal. On that same day, February the 14th, the vessel began manipulating its global navigation system, exhibiting strange, unnatural drifting patterns in the same location outside the terminal. Satellite imagery from February the 19th clearly indicates the vessel wasn't where it was transmitting to be. In comparison, another vessel of a similar size, just five nautical miles away, can be seen in the satellite image, proving the AIS satellite image matching to be precise. On February the 23rd, during the manipulation time frame, a vessel was spotted in Karg Island, one of the main loading terminals in Iran, just 73 nautical miles away from the transmitted location of our vessel. This non-transmitting vessel appeared to be loading at one of the berths and matched the prominent visual features we saw earlier. Length, 180 to 190 meters. White bridge. Red deck white pole at the bow. On February the 26th, the tanker resumed transmission, heading back towards the Hamuz Straits at normal sailing speed, sailing through Iranian territorial waters. The vessel's location upon resuming transmission correlated with the average speed, distance, and time it would take to make the trip from Karg Island. Here it is, spotted in Karg a day earlier, on February the 25th, sailing towards the turn on transmission point. Two days later, on February the 28th, the vessel indicated a change in draft, showing it is fully laden, although there is no activity related to cargo loading, such as port call or ship-to-ship -ship operation. Since January 2020 and until December 2021, we've seen more than 300 unique GNSS manipulation events involving over 200 unique vessels. It's clear this deceptive shipping practice is becoming an alarming, common tactic for illicit actors. With the right technology, automatic alerts and AI-driven insights, stakeholders can respond in real time and protect their business from reputational and financial risk.